Ah, right, hello love, once again. Uh, I wasn't gonna do it, I said I'd do it at some point in the future, but I thought, you know what, I might as well just knock on another one off. I didn't finish the other one, I didn't like it at all. That, that last IPA from this great British brewing company in association with Freedom Brewery. Because apparently, I've, I've been looking online, like literally a few seconds ago, it turns out this is like part of a coronation. You know, because obviously you've got a new, new fucking king coming in, uh, King Charles, so they decided to unleash upon us a series of like alcohols that are coronation related. Um, I had the India Pale Ale, which was mixed with white wine. Didn't really like it, not gonna lie. This time around, it's just Pale Ale this time. It's a thirst quenching Pale Ale with refreshing tropical notes brewed in partnership with the Freedom Brewery and it is called Long Live the King Session Pale Ale. So yeah, the other one was called something... In fact, no, it's called Long Live the King Charles Cavalier. Um, you know, obviously, the mascot for this one, just like the last one, is a King Charles Cavalier Spaniel. Uh, yeah. So yeah. This time it's just a 4% one. And yeah, it's a fucking oh, can of dusty as fuck. Oh yeah, they're in the kitchen. So the kitchen's not even dusty. You know what I mean? Whatever. So yeah, if, if I get a taste of dust in this can, uh, you'll know why. But yeah, uh, in fact, yeah, I think it was called Long May He Rain, the last one, the, uh, the India Pale Ale, and it was a bit, uh, I don't know, like it. So this one's going to be a bit different. It's going to be another coronation beer, and it's going to be Pale Ale, and it's going to be from the Great British Brewing Company in partnership with the Free and Brewery. So it's not going to be any different really, is it? So, you know, my, my, uh, my enthusiasm and expectations are not high. However, as a good prerequisite, I actually managed to put the fucking microphone in the camera this time. I did this in the first video. Nonetheless, let's just pour some alcohol into Zach Dingle. Another famous British king. However, his palace is not in Windsor or Blenheim. Or battle model, it's Emmerdale. I don't even watch Emmerdale. But I just, I just think of him for some reason. That's where his acting all comes from. In fact, I remember there was a scene in The Wolfpack in Emmerdale when I watched it in like 1997 or something. And um, he was drinking from a something that looked like this. So that's where it comes from. So yeah. So it's a nice light golden colour. Uh, carbonation moderation and yeah uh, there's a there's a head there it hasn't dissipated straight away so that's a good sign it actually looks like a nail so yeah we know what it looks like let's have a sniff oh yeah yeah the um oh yeah when it said that there was tropical notes, uh, yeah, there is. It's um, I'm getting mango and passion fruit with a little bit of lime on top of the usual pale ale smells of like you know slightly hoppy, slightly fucking you know the whole peppery shebang and that. Yeah, that's that's. I mean, then again, the last one smelled good, but it didn't taste that good. This time around, it smells really good. Here's hoping that the taste will not be garbage. Yeah, I could, I could just sit here sniffing it. You know what I mean? I mean, I, mean, I know that's not what you do when you get a drink. You just sit there sniffing it. <laughs> Imagine that goes like a weather spoon or some shit. Getting yourself like a fucking like craft beer from like that they've, they've got like torn the nation or whatever. And instead of like drinking it, you're just sitting there in a the booth just fucking sniffing it for hours on end. Yeah. <laughs> Just all these people walking past going, oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, just, just those patronising, sorrowful glances. Yeah. I've been there before. <laughs> but nah. Nonetheless, um, 
You know what it looks like, you know what it smells like. Let's have a taste. Will it be long live the king, Cat Charles Cavalier, or will it be ring sting, Charles Cavalier? So only one way to find out bottoms up or a few bottoms. Here we go. Better, much better. Yeah, the uh, the the tropical notes that we got before. I'm not tasting the mango on the passion fruit. I'm smelling it, I'm not tasting it. The lime, however, is there, it's strong. The aftertaste of lime is good. You got the malts, what's it sound like? Well, yeah, it's, it's slightly malty, but it's mostly hoppy. Um, fortunately, the, yeah, the mouthfeel starts off well, but it dissipates after like two seconds. It's uh, Hmm. Yeah, I mean, again, if you like your mouth feel, this probably isn't for you, but the taste is not bad. It's not bad at all. It's very hoppy, very peppery, a little bit bitter as well towards the end. And yeah, this is, this is not bad. This is off. This this is a big improvement on shit, on the last one, which was a bit shite. This is much better. So the uh, the Great British Brewing Company, uh, in partnership with the Freedom Brewery. I've done something pretty good with this one. Uh, yeah, and uh, apparently this is just like a short-term gimmick. You know, because of that coronation and that of King Charles the... It's not the second, I think it's the third, isn't it? Because wasn't... Didn't, didn't, like, the second one have his head chopped off? You know, by, like... And, and like, Oliver Cromwell took over of them. I mean, I don't know much about the history of it, you know. Um, I mean, I know... Uh, I know who William the Conquer was, you know, he was, a, he was that fella from like Ireland when he came over and he invaded Hastings in 1066 and he shot that fella in the eye. Yeah, uh, I think he had guns back then, like, but yeah, yeah, um, not much history. But yeah, what I do know is this is all right. There's a little bit of lace in on the glass and all. Would I recommend it? I think it was. This one. The last one not so much, but this one I probably was. Um yeah. So uh obviously you've got a nice football game coming up tomorrow. Um hope you'll be you know, I'll try and vlog it if I can. You know, that should be alright. Um if you want to watch it by all means. Uh, so yeah. I look forward to doing it. I hope you're all looking forward to seeing it. And in the meantime, I'll be uh, signing out. Take care, Joe.